You know what really grinds my gears, guys? Is the term self-conscious. Okay, like, I was sitting here smoking my weed, and all of a sudden I got, like, offended by this word. And it's like, we use it to describe when somebody is down on themselves or they don't like themselves or whatever, right? But self-conscious, when you break that down, like, that, that's like a consciousness of oneself, like self-awareness, right? And it's like, but this isn't, but we always attribute it to like this negative fucking thing. Can't we be self-conscious in a good way? Like, because it seems with the way the words lay out, <laughs> that it should be a positive thing to be self-aware, right? Um, I don't know, dude. Just sitting here, and I was like, I need to have a fucking rant about this. Because, like, here we are using, like, these positive-ass um, verbiage <laughs> to describe, like, the most negative aspect that it could possibly mean. It kind of brings me back to how humans have, like, this negative bias, right? Um, it often, it's like, if you, throughout your entire day, you'll most likely recognize the negative thing that happened rather than all the positive things that happened because your brain is searching for it, right? Always looking for the negative. It's part of your, like, survival instincts, but it also fucking sucks. And then it's like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like, with our negative bias, it's also like, we'll first believe the worst about somebody before we could believe any of the best about them, right? It's like, oh, and then, then we get into these, the imposter syndrome, when something really good happens for us, and then all of a sudden, we're like, it's too good for us, we don't deserve it, you know? And then we like, throw it away, because we're like, subconsciously creating like, a negative atmosphere for ourselves, right? That's like, that's just, how the brain fucking works. <laughs> I don't know. It's like with this negative bias, it's like, is that born into us? Is it taught? That's something that really fucking baffles me. Like, I went to school to study humans. I'm like, I'm so baffled by the human mind. And like, just this whole idea of the negative bias and like why we're so naturally inclined to it. It's like, yeah, sure, when we were hunter-gatherers, we probably needed it to detect, like, danger or whatever. You know, we got that heightened intuition about shit, but do we always have to go to the worst-case scenario in our fucking brains? Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to... Trying to break it down that, like, maybe we could change our own personal bias and start, like, looking for the more positive side of things and start feeling more deserving and worthy of things and start feeling, you know, it's like with this negative uh, bias inside of us, sorry, I'm on my stone to rant again, but it just, it fucks us all up and it makes like almost every interaction that you'll have with a random person, like, like, uh, there always has to be something negative brought up. And it's like, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad people or anything. It could be something as small as, did you hear about all those people that got murdered? Or <laughs> did you hear about that Travis Scott concert? Or did you hear about, you know, and it's like, like, they don't even know that they're bringing a negative aspect to the table when they do something like that. And you're just kind of like sitting there like, bro, <laughs> I was enjoying myself, and you had to go and bring this shit up, and then you're like, oh man, my mom does that to me, she'll go and watch Forensic Files, and my best friend, I love her, <laughs> but yeah, she'll like, both of them, they'll go watch Forensic Files, and then they'll come back, and my stoner ass, I'm like trying to think about fucking butterflies and shit, and then, uh, they'll show up, and they're like, bro, Ted Bundy cut this bitch's head off and then they start like going off on like this you know everything that they saw on these like fucking spooky ass shows and I'm like no bro why um and it's like you know it's it's funny because like and then you feel like you're the bad guy if you're like bro can we just not talk about this like and you're like on the inside, I wanted to interact with you without any kind of negativity coming into the group. But people, you know, on a subconscious level, you know, if you're not really 
aware of it being like a negative aspect being brought to the table there, then what adversely would happen if they were talking to literally anybody but me, I guess, <laughs> like if they were talking to anybody but me, the person that they would talk to would probably be like, oh man, da 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 and talk about it more, and like reciprocate with like way more stories about horrible shit, and then it's like, and then you're like, oh my god, <laughs> you know, um, and it's, it's kind of a bonding experience, right, at that point, to like, talk and dwell on this negative aspect, and it's like, I don't know, it's, it's a social dynamic that like, it's hard to break. But I feel like if you make a conscious effort to break that, it's like possible, right? Um, and then you stop feeling like, oh, why is the world so down on me? And then you start feeling like good about shit and like happy and whatever, you know? Um, it's all, it all starts with how we talk, you know? It all starts with like, like the first thing that comes to your mind in communication and like how your responses, like your reactions. I think honestly we should all stop reacting to shit. Like you should just anytime somebody presents you with any kind of information, you should just sit back, give them like thirty seconds of just pure silence while you just mull it over, you know, before reacting. If it's something that you feel like you wanna to react to fucking mull it over for like a, a minute like um and you know what I think it's less rude to take a minute to respond than reacting <laughs> like out of like first like <clears throat> primal instinct you know um I, I don't know I got stoned and I just started thinking about like the way that we fail each other as a society with our communication and we don't even mean to it's like man what if we, what if we just like flip the script a little bit with this negative bias, you know? It just, but how do you unlearn something like that? It's been enculturated in us, acculturated in us. It's like, ah, uh, it's a whole fucking thing, guys. Anyway, I'm done with my rant. I just wanted to, yeah, say that. And you know what? I feel like self-conscious should be a positive term, not a like negative term. I wanted to go back to that for a second because that doesn't make sense, guys. How is self-awareness a bad thing? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, yes, I will talk to you later. <laughs> Namaste. I love you.